Hi everybody, this is Patrick again from the 8tracktapestore.com and what we're going to open next are uh, these tricky um, GRT Module 8 cards. I have three examples in front of me. Um, these cards can be recognized. They will usually have a GRT label like this, GRT on the edge. and um, They will also uh, normally have uh, this Module 8. You probably can't see it on the video, but it says Module 8 in the indentation here. Um, they also uh, normally come in blue, but they will come in all colors. Uh, they'll come in black. Uh, white ones, like this example, are, um, are fairly obscure, but this is uh, a GRT Module 8 card as well. Um, what we're going to do, of course, is open it. I'm going to shove these aside and work on uh, this white one. Um, and the thing to know about these cartridges is they have two tabs down here at the bottom. Uh, those are easy to see. There's openings for them, but they have a secret uh, third tab, which is in the in the center here, um, at the top or towards the top, and that uh, tab cannot be accessed from the outside. Um, so how do we get to it? We get to it um, through underneath the tape. So um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is pry out on these uh, cartridges the uh, foam pad that's underneath the tape. And to do that, um, you know, there's different ways to do it, but I find it easy to use basically a small screwdriver and kind of pry it up. And then um, if I can get an edge to that uh, hard backing on the underneath the foam pad, I'll use the tweezers to maybe pull it up. And you want to be careful because um, you don't want to wrinkle or damage the, uh, you know, the tape itself. So just be cautious with that. But they are easy to get out. Um, this one has already been taken out. And the next step, step is the trick. So these are these conf these tapes confound even veterans who have difficulty opening them. And that's because um, in here in this opening um, where the tab sits. It's resting on a, basically a ledge, which is uh, the side of the cartridge or, or a piece of the cartridge. And over 50 years, uh, where it's resting has gotten very tight and it's almost kind of like it's glued itself down. Um, so when they, they get open, they're often cracked. And uh, what I'm going to show you is a trick to actually not crack these tapes. And you should have good success doing it uh, the way we do it in the shop. Um, so what we're going to use is a little bit of high grade machine oil. I've already done this. so I'm going to keep the, uh, you know, the lid on, so to speak. And we're going to go in here right along, uh, this opening that you'll see underneath the foam pad. It's a little rectangle opening and a gap there. Um, and you're just going to apply like half a drop. Uh, one drop at the most along the seam where that tab's resting. Uh, you could use uh, sewing machine oil if that's all you have at home. That'll work. Um, um, and once you've done that, you're going to set it aside for a couple minutes on a prop, standing up, and you just let the oil uh, do its work. Um, like I mentioned, I already did this before I rolled the video, and so it should be ready to open. Um, just to save a little time. Um, you're going to take the card after it's rested and the oil has worked and you're going to take a screwdriver that's appropriate to the opening. So that is a semi-large screwdriver in my case and it's going to go straight into that little opening I described earlier. And You're just going to wiggle it and at the same time push down a little bit and this is open. Okay. And we'll look at the inside in a minute. We have two other um, tabs to get open, but these are the easy ones. And these open the same way that we open five tab cartridges in the shop. We're just going to turn it back over. I'm going to press down here to provide a little uh, downward pressure. And at the same time, we're going to slide our, um, our straight edge in here towards these back tabs in the corner and just pop them open like that. Again, on the last side, push down here pop open there, and we're good to go. Um, this tape is seized up, so it's going to need uh, some work, which I'll do later. Um, but before we do anything on this cart, 
What you want to do um, immediately, as soon as it's open, is clean off that excess oil. So you're going to take, um, you know, just kitchen paper towel or lint-free cloth, and you're going to rub all that oil away from there. And there'll be some on the tab. You're going to take that off. Um, and once you've done, a, a, you know, spend about a minute doing that. Um, you can work on the on the tape, and the reason you want to get that oil away is because um, oil and tapes don't mix. This is the first, the only time we use oil when opening any type of cartridge, and uh, the reason you, you want to try to avoid it when you can is, um, you know, a tiny drop of oil can come in contact with the tape as you're working on it. If you don't notice and clean it off right away, that will spool itself around to the back side of the next loop, and that will transfer itself to the front side of the next loop, and so on and so forth. You'll get oil on the moving parts inside your player, um, and that will transfer itself to other tapes, and it's just a big mess when that happens. And yes, I'm speaking from experience. So get your oil off, and once you've done that and you've worked on your tape, which I'm going to work on later, um, you're ready to close it, and that's very simple. It's easier than it was to open. You're going to just place this down like any five-tab cartridge, and then just give it a little pop like that, and this tape is properly closed. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. What we're going to work on next are these um, funny little uh, cartridges. They're very old carts that have pins right here in the middle, and so we'll show you how to get those out. I hope you enjoyed this tape. Thank you for watching. This is Patrick from the 8-Track Tape Store.